here, he's there, he's everywhere. David Ankle Biter. David Ankle Biter. David Ankle Biter. Smith. Hello, it's your buddy David Ankle Biter back again. And today, we're looking at the fungal nets. Now, you may not be able to see them, but I promise you, <coughs> they're there. Now, the scientific name of fungal gnats is Scariidae lacoria, and they are in the phylum known as Anthropoda. Fungal gnats are herbivores and decomposers, which means they don't make energy by themselves. They get energy by consuming other organisms, and decomposer-wise, they consume dead things. Now, <sighs> fungal gnats produce sexually. But in some rare cases, in a process known as paleogenesis, they can reduce asexually in a larvae state. Now, we found these gnats in James's backyard. Hello? Police? Yeah, she's not leaving. But they can be found virtually anywhere in the world. So, Gnats normally live in places that are not only rich in nutrients, but are also rich in moisture, such as wet mulch. Also, in the role in the ecosystem, not only are they very good prey for bats and birds, but they also help the pollination of flowers. All right, I'm David. We got it. But, oh, ah, ah, I'm David Anglepire. Join me next time for moldy bread. Here he's there, he's everywhere. David Ankle Biter. David Ankle Biter. David Ankle Biter. Smith. <laughs>